If you saw the video of my conversation with Linda G earlier today, you may have heard me say that Alex Murdoch's astrology chart looked really ominous. And so after I talked with her, I put together a video explaining my reasoning in regard to his likely conviction, but the jury beat me to it, and within three hours of starting their deliberations, they convicted him. Nevertheless, here's the video I made because I think the astrology is very interesting and informative. As of today, the jury is deliberating Alex Murdoch's fate, and aside from what I know of the facts in the case, the look of the planets on his day of birth has to be interpreted as cause for serious concern. I don't know his birth time, but just with the day positions, the panorama looks extremely ominous. This guy appears to be haunted by the inconjunct aspect, the dreaded 150 degrees, sometimes called quincunx, which in a natural zodiac is made from Aries as the natural ascendant to Virgo and Scorpio, the health and death houses respectively. And my experience of this planetary angle does not incline me to be positive because it is definitely one of the more difficult cycles to traverse. This is true both if you're born with such angles in your chart or if your transits are making the aspect. Myrtle's chart actually features a yacht formation, and by the way, a planet formation I've never particularly liked since it seems to me that unless you're a very upright citizen, hopefully tilting as spiritual as possible, yachts aren't going to be good and more especially so when you aren't such a great citizen and based on what has been publicized, Murdoch's story is filled with shady and at times even gruesome behavior and events. That Scorpio Neptune links to the Saturn sextile of his Gemini planet Stellium through the 150 degree aspect, thereby making it a potential problem planet. And since a key fact about his life is massive drug abuse and serial lying plus deception, you immediately have two Neptunian categories on the low end, of course, on full display. But worse, much worse for this guy, is that this same planet, Neptune, in its 165 year orbit transit, is currently in the late degrees of Pisces, opposing his Uranus and beginning to work its way through all the Gemini planets by square. And if it takes 165 years to go around, you can guess it moves pretty slowly, and so it will not get past those 29 plus planets until 2026. And adding, to the worse is more worse still, since Saturn is about to enter Pisces as well, and it will also begin to work its way toward those late Gemini planets by square, and even though it will take a while for both Saturn and Neptune to make exact aspect to those 29 plus planets, it'll be the late 2025 and into early 2026 period before Saturn and Neptune together hit those planets. So this trajectory, it's just about the worst pattern you could spot in the context of the giant jam this individual finds himself in. And in short, I'm much more inclined to forecast about that period in 2025-26, finding him solidly locked up in the slammer, if not worse, than I am to think that it would take anywhere near that long for him to get in serious trouble. And to cap it all off, and yet more 150 degree nightmares, Transiting Pluto from Capricorn is doing a 150 degree transit to those late Gemini planets right now. This is this month, but it will continue through more back and forth passes next year and the year after. That natal Pluto is square all his natal planets, so don't expect it to be gentle, particularly if it looks like you did the deed. And to be honest, and while admitting I don't know all the facts, it feels like I saw and heard enough of his case to be very suspicious about his claims of innocence and most strikingly so when I learned he had lied prolifically to the police about almost everything, but most incriminatingly about being at the scene of the murders when they happened. He tried to create an alibi, but as it turned out, the investigation established he was absolutely present at the scene of the crime within four minutes of when it happened. So what are the odds? Not good, I have to say.